Now here's something I thought might be of interest to catfish fans. I am preparing some of my frozen specimens to become skeletons. And if you look in here, there's quite the assortment of catfish. I got two cerebrum limus. That one's a pretty good size one there. I've got an iridescent shark. I've got a gel. We've got a little zebra catfish. We've got marble catfish. I've got a deformed channel catfish which died last week as a result of jumping out of the tank. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six seven of the approximately 20 or 30 specimens of catfish I have in the freezer that need to be prepared and these are some of these are ones that I raised I raised this llama shovel nose from an inch long baby into this beautiful beautiful specimen before it was killed I did not kill these fish. This fish was donated. I could never afford one of these in my wildest dreams. Very expensive fish. One this size would probably go at least a grand. I raised that marble catfish from about an inch long. Same thing with the uh, iridescent shark. He was a jumper as well. This gel, not really sure why exactly he died, but he did die. We got him at an inch long. Same thing with that llama. And this channel cat got about two inches long. And he was severely stunted. I went and re rescued him from the place I left him at. He was he was about two inches long when I got him. When I left him about three years ago, he was roughly about six inches. And when I picked him back up, he was eight inches. And in the last uh, year, year and a half, he's grown to this size. Thought you guys might like to see that. I'm going to do some videos of me cutting these guys apart and getting them ready to be skeletonized.